Hey everyone. So in this video, we're going to look at a seven segment display and we're going to use the flippers GPIO to power the segments. So this has seven LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are the seven segments that we can light up with the flipper. These segments come in different form factors. So here's a different one, a little smaller. And some of them, they all share a common cathode and some of them, they share a common anode. All right, let's get started. So I'll put the seven segment display into the breadboards from pins 21 through 25, and it's going to span the gap. So we'll have pins on the right that are those five pins, 21 through 25, and then on the left, 21, 25. And again, remember from the previous breadboard video that each of the row of five pins across are connected together and left and right are not connected together. Okay, so we'll remove the LED and we'll hook up the purple wire to the positive side and we'll hook up the gray wire to the negative side. And you'll remember from a previous video, there's a 220 ohm resistor that's connecting between that and the 3.3 the volt power on the flipper. So we'll try ground on the top pin and then I'll just kind of probe these other pins and see if we can get something to light up. Uh, doesn't look like it. So we'll move down one pin and try it again and see if we can get anything to light up. Still nothing. Okay, we'll move to the third pin. Ah, we got a light. Okay, let's try another segment. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it looks like this is our common ground, the third pin on the right. Okay, let's go ahead and probe some of these other spots. Yeah, okay, perfect. And you saw that it's actually seven segments plus there's also the dot that lights up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and connect a 220 ohm resistor to each one of the pins on the seven segment display. Um, we could just use one resistor on the common wire, but then as we added more lights, as we turned on more lights at the same time, the, it would be dim. So by putting them all on the output pins instead, we'll be able to have a consistent brightness regardless of how many segments are lit up. Be careful to make sure that none of the leads from the resistors are touching each other and shorting out. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and connect our ground wire. And then on our positive, we're just gonna hit all these ends of the resistor to make sure that, that the, uh, nothing's shorting out and that only one segment's lighting each time we apply power. Perfect. Looks good. On our flipper, we're going to go to GPIO and then down to GPIO manual control. And then it's saying pin A7 is where it's going to output the voltage. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that 3.3 volt wire and we'll connect the pin into the one that's labeled A7. And then we'll connect this into the other side of our resistor. And so now when we press the OK button, the segment should turn on. And when we release it, it should turn off. OK, we'll press the right arrow key, which will switch it to PA6, which is this next pin here. So we'll plug a wire into PA6. And then we'll connect the other end of that to the next resistor. Pressing the OK button, now we're able to light the next segment. And if we go back, we can light the previous segment. We'll repeat the process for the remaining pins. One thing to note is that the PC1 is quite a ways away from the other pins that we're connecting to. So I don't know if it's a feature or a bug, but when you press the OK button, if you press left and right arrow while the OK button is down, uh, the output will stay on. So let's go ahead and try to draw the number three with our seven segment display. So now we're on pin six. Okay, so we'll go ahead and keep that one on and go to the next pin. Okay, pin four, yeah, we'll keep that on and go to the next pin. Pin B3, we don't want on, so we'll just go to the next pin. Pin B2, we also don't want on, so we'll go to the next pin. BC3, we do want this on, so we'll keep the OK button while pressing right arrow. And then C1 we want, so we'll OK and right arrow. And there we've done it. So our GPIO pins on the flipper are outputting the number three. 
So instead of three, if we wanted the number four, we would just have to turn on and off a few of these segments, and here you go. Great, so in this video, we took a seven segment display that we didn't have the diagram for. We figured out it was a common cathode, and we hit all the different pins to figure out which they connected to, connected them our GPIO, and we're able to use the flipper to turn on and off the GPIO to display different numbers. In a future video, I'll show how we can write code to display the different seven segment numbers. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions and comments below.